video you're gonna learn how to change the color of anything in Photoshop. We're gonna tackle four different scenarios of changing color and making targeted adjustments and selections and even changing white to any color you want. So without any further ado, let's get started. Hey guys and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. My name is Rabia from retouchstudio.com and we're gonna start with the simple and easy way to change color and progress as our images gets more difficult. So in this first example, we're gonna change the color of the shirt and to do that, we need to make a selection around the shirt first. So we can use the quick selection tool and you just wanna click and drag around the areas that you wanna select and in this case, it's easy to make the selection because there is the contrast between the subject and the background. We don't have to worry about the hair for now because we're going to be using select and mask for that. And in this area, we need to exclude this part and you can do that by holding alt or option and you will see the plus icon becomes a minus and now you can click and drag on the area that you want to exclude from the selection. Okay, so now we have a selection around the shirt. Now we're going to click on the select and mask button to get to the select and mask panel. And I'm going to take the refine edge tool and start painting on the hair to include it in the selection. Now we need to export it into a selection. So right here in the output options, I'm going to choose selection and click OK. And now with the selection active, I can create a hue saturation adjustment layer and by doing so, the selection will be automatically added to the layer mask and if you hold alt or option, you'll be able to see the selection. And while we are in this view, I'm gonna take the brush tool and change the foreground to black and remove this area. Okay, let's go back to the normal view and now we can use the hue slider to change the t-shirt color to anything you like. You also have the saturation and the lightness sliders and you can use them to fine tune the color and get it exactly how you want it to be. And I'm just gonna change the color to violet. Now, in some cases, you may want to change the color to black, and in that case, you can do that by taking the saturation slider all the way to the left, and also decrease the lightness until you get a black color. But you don't want to go too far, because you're going to lose the highlights that define the shirt. But also, this color still doesn't look realistic, so we're going to have to create another adjustment layer to bring back the highlights. So, I'm going to create a levels adjustment layer, then I'll create a clipping mask by holding Alt or Option and clicking between the two layers. This means that this adjustment layer will only be visible where the hue saturation layer is. And now we're gonna need to darken the shadows and the midtones and increase the highlights to bring back the contrast. Okay, that's how you make a black shirt and if you want to turn it to white, you can also do so by increasing the lightness this time and then you can adjust the contrast accordingly to get a white color. Now obviously this selection needs more refining, I'm not gonna spend time fixing it for the purpose of this tutorial, but I'm gonna quickly show you how to do it. So. There are many ways to remove this edge. You can use the brush tool and paint with a soft brush at the edges, but in this case, this method is going to take some time. What you can also do is load the selection again by holding Alt or Option and clicking on the thumbnail of the layer mask. Then go to Select, Modify, and Expand. And we are going to expand the selection by one pixel. 
you can also click on Control H to hide the selection then take the brush tool and with the white foreground selected we can start revealing that one pixel edge to remove that fringe So that's one way to change color by making a selection around your subject. Let's move on to the next example. But before we do that, if you are enjoying this tutorial so far, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss a new tutorial when I upload it to the channel. Alright, back to the tutorial. And in this example, you may have a subject that is hard to select or simply you don't want to spend so much time making a selection around your subject. And if I try to make a selection with the quick selection tool, you will see that it's hard to make a clean selection, especially in her legs, because there is not much contrast. Of course, you can use something like the pen tool to get really accurate with your selection, but I'm going to show you a faster method to target the color and change it really easily. So I'm going to click on Ctrl D to deselect. Then I'll create a hue saturation adjustment layer. And then what you need to do is click on the targeted adjustment icon and then click on the dress to select that color. You can see now that it automatically changed the color to red and also in the range slider. And now when I move the hue slider, you can see that it's changing the color of the dress. But notice that I'm also changing the color of the wall and that's because the wall also has some red in it. So we need to narrow the range of the red to only the color of the dress. I'm going to increase the saturation all the way to 100 so we can see what we're doing. And you can see that not only the dress is red but also the skin and most of the background has some red in it. So the slider in the middle is going to allow us to control the shade of the red and the range. And the outside slider will make a transition of the color. So we need to push the slider inside to narrow the color to only the red of the dress and because we increased the saturation we can see that color clearly. You can also increase the size of the panel so you have more room to work with. And I'm just gonna push the slider inside until we have only the dress selected. And that looks about right. And now we can reset the saturation back to zero and change the color to wherever we want. And only the dress will be affected. And that's a really useful technique to quickly select and change color. Okay, so let's move on to the next example. And in this example, I'm going to show you another technique to make very accurate selections. In this case, we have a good contrast between the model and the background. But it's hard to make a selection around the hair with something like the quick selection tool. So if I create a hue saturation adjustment layer and then take the targeted adjustment tool and select the dress color, increase the saturation, and then I'm going to try to narrow the color to just the dress. We still have the hair affected. But if I go more than that, you can see that the dress is starting to get deselected. And now if I change the color, the hair also is being changed. You can of course use the brush tool and paint with the black on the areas where you don't want the color to change. But again, you're not going to get an accurate mask, especially around the hair. So in this case, I'm going to show you another technique. First, I will delete this adjustment layer. Then I'll go to the select color range. So color range will allow you to make selections based on color. And with the eyedropper tool, you want to click on the area that you want to select. If you hold shift, you will see the plus icon next to the eyedropper. And now you'll be able to add more areas to the selection. So I'm going to keep clicking on more areas until we have all the dress selected. You also have the fuzziness slider and that's gonna increase the range of the selection and give you a smoother transition. But if I go too far, you can see that the hair also is starting to get selected. So you gotta find the sweet spot that works best for your image and you can also hold shift to keep adding to the selection and in this case, 
I went a little bit too far and the background is also selected. So I'm going to click on Ctrl Z to undo that last step. And I'm just going to stop at this point and maybe decrease the fuzziness just a little bit more and click OK. That's going to turn it into a selection and now we can create a hue saturation adjustment layer and then I'll hold Alt and click to see the layer mask. So I can further refine my layer mask by painting with the black with the brush tool on the areas that I don't want it to be visible in. And you can also change the blending mode of the brush to overlay. I also switch my foreground color to white and start refining my layer mask. This is going to work like dodging and burning. White gets wider and darks gets darker and that's gonna allow me to refine my layer mask without exceeding the boundaries of the selection. There will be some areas that won't be removed with the overlay blending mode because they are pure black and in that case we can bring back the blending mode to normal and simply paint with a white brush to remove it. Okay, that looks like a good enough selection. I'm gonna alt click on the layer mask thumbnail again to go back. And now I can change the color to wherever I want and we have a very accurate selection around our subject and you can see now that the color of the hair did not change because we spent the time to mask it out of the dress. Alright, in the last example we have a picture of a model wearing a white jacket and you may be in a similar situation and you want to change the color of the jacket to something else. So first we need a selection around the jacket and I already made a selection and saved it before I record this tutorial to save time. So I will go to select, load selection and I only have one selection saved called example 4 so I'll click OK. So in this situation using a hue saturation adjustment layer will not change the color of the jacket because there's no color information to work with in the first place. You can see that nothing is happening even if I check the colorize option and increase the saturation. And still this will not make much of a difference and give us the color that we want. So I will turn off the hue saturation adjustment layer for now and I'm gonna show you a better way of doing this. We're gonna need a selection again so I'm gonna hold alt and click on the layer mask to load it into selection. Then I'm gonna create a solid color and I'll choose a yellowish color for this example. And what we need to do is change the blending mode to multiply. And you can see now that the color is applied to the jacket because the multiply blending mode will preserve the shadows but we still need to bring back the highlights to get it to look realistic. And we're gonna need another adjustment layer for that and this time I will choose a curves adjustment layer and you'll know why in a bit. First we need this adjustment layer to only affect the jacket so I'll hold alt or option and click and drag the solid color mask to the new adjustment layer and that will replace the mask. This layer is going to be for the highlights so I will increase the highlights all the way up. Now obviously we don't want this to be visible everywhere so we're gonna use the blend if to hide it in the shadows. And you can access the blend if by double clicking on the layer and here at the bottom you have the options to hide the effect on this layer or on the underlying layer. And we're gonna tell Photoshop to hide this layer from the shadows of the underlying layer by dragging the shadow slider to the right. And as you can see, it's starting to fade away from the shadows, but this is looking very harsh, so hold Alt or Option and click on the slider, and now you'll be able to make a transition and make the effect softer. That looks about right. I'm gonna click OK, and you can see the difference this layer makes when I turn it on and off. It looks much more realistic. Okay, now we need another layer for the shadows and I will simply duplicate the curves adjustment layer by clicking on Ctrl J. But instead this time, we're gonna increase the shadows. 
and also i'm gonna double click on the layer and change the blend if slider to be only visible in the shadows by dragging the highlight slider to the left and again hold alt eruption to split the slider and make a transition this is a little bit too much so i'll go back to the adjustment layer and reduce the intensity of the shadows and the highlights also And now if you want to change the color to something else, you can double click on the solid color and in the color picker change the color to your liking and I'm going to change the color to red this time. And of course if you choose a darker or lighter color, you're going to need to go back and fine tune your shadows and highlights layers. Okay, that's it. That's how to change the color of anything in Photoshop. Let me know in the comments below if you know of any other technique of changing color. And if you made it to the very end of this video, I've got good news for you. I recently launched a Photoshop compositing course that will teach you how to composite and match any subject with any background in Photoshop. You will learn some solid techniques of matching perspective, luminosity, and color very effectively. And if you like the techniques in this video, then you're gonna love the course. And right now it's discounted. You can get it for a fraction of the normal price by following the link in the description. And not only that, I just opened a new Patreon page and if you consider helping to support this channel and keep these tutorials free for you and become a patron, I will give you access to all my courses on my membership website where you will learn many valuable techniques about Photoshop compositing and retouching. Again, all the links and the source images will be in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next tutorial.